What's going on YouTube? Bob Lewis here. Wanted to uh, shoot a video. I'm here at the office. Finishing up some work for the weekend. Um, still in Fort Wayne. Met up again with Zombie Collector today, Jason. And uh, had a good time. Got some lunch, ate it. Uh, Popeye's chicken for the first time. Um, we'll just say I'm glad that uh, we don't have one in Pittsburgh. Because I'd be there all the time. Um, we, we So we did lunch and then he took me to kind of his local shop. And uh, it's called Four Sharp Corners. Different uh, than the online place. This store was... Um, it was awesome. They're uh, basically you walk in. It's almost like you're walking. It's a storefront, but you're like walking into somebody's basement where they just keep all their cards and have them in boxes and binders and stacks of cards everywhere. And you're pretty much just free to like rain and look over uh, anything that's out. And uh, the guy was pretty cool. The guy. This is his uh, info over here. Tracy Neal, Four Sharp Corners, in red. Chubbs 1995 is his um, eBay store. I haven't checked that out yet, but uh, the guy's the guy's pretty good. He's uh, you know Jason gave me a heads up. I was like, um, he's a bit abrasive, you know. So, but that's just who he is, and uh, it's you know it's kind of locker room. It's got that locker room vibe when you're in there, kind of ja jagging each other a little bit. But um, I can appreciate that, and after a long work week. I kind of needed some of that. So I picked up uh, a little stack of cards here. Nothing crazy. He gave me an amazing deal. And I got, uh, I'll open up, um, he had for a, a dollar a piece, uh, 89 Bowman. So we'll see if we can get a, a Griffey. I got four packs. I got five, but I opened one. Uh, and I figured, and I didn't get anything decent in it. Um, so we'll see how we can do. But start with the cards here. Picked up a couple 2012 Ginters, just a McCutcheon that I didn't have, and uh, Clemente, a couple cards for the PC, and what is this, 94 bus, hot numbers, flare hot numbers, I still collect them even though he's not in a Steeler uniform, and he had just like, like I said, he just had stacks of cards laying around and I looked in one stack and uh, had a uh, an 84 Walter Payton very nicely centered very clean back I just like this set um, I think it's uh, I, don't know, I think it's one of the first vintage football sets for me growing up that I saw and sort of was attracted to here's the um, 83 Montana so a third year Montana Cool card there, and then he had a big binder, just base, random baseball cards, and picked up uh, a few vintage pirate stuff. Here's a '76 Dave Parker. I got my Pirates team set stuff that I'm going to be working on. Picked up a couple uh, Willie Stargels '72, and a. 71 and then uh, a couple cards I didn't have well I didn't have any of these but uh, this is a uh, an RRC a Rocco rookie card Gary Tr Gary Carter with the trophy didn't have that one good good binder card there and I uh, picked this one up. Didn't have this. Dale Murphy rookie. Now there's, you know, soft corners. Uh, well, semi soft corners, but one in particular up there. I don't know if you can see that at all. But regardless, it's, uh, it's a good card. It's just going to be a PC card, something I'm. Happy to have, and then uh, some football cards. Just a 2006 Bowman Chrome base, Tom Brady. Wasn't collecting during that year, so try to pick up a few of his base cards. Um, I had already 
kind of purchased things and then uh, was just hanging around and I saw this uh, Pacific Prism, 95 Pacific Prism, Curtis Martin, He's a guy IPC, and he just threw it in for nothing. So man, I was like, I'll give you a dollar for it or something, you know, but he's a good man. And then they, uh, let's see, what year is this? 2007 Topps Chrome Darrell Revis Refractor. There it is. Rookie card. He was a pit guy. Pretty, pretty outstanding NFL career, too. At one time, probably one of the most feared cornerbacks. And then I was really pumped to get this. Um, an 06 Topps Chrome Brady Refractor. Just a base. So those were the pickups, and uh, with the four, with the five packs and those pick pickups, I uh, only paid twenty five bucks. So if I could have spent all day there, I would. And so we got uh, do four packs of eighty nine Bowman. My wax card is uh, Dave Smith, and um, my gum card. This is John Smiley. I think I heard somewhere, read somewhere, that people actually try to put together complete sets of all the gum cards. I don't know if that's actually a thing or not, but uh, if it is, that's kind of strange. But to each their own in their collecting ways. These are cool. I don't know if anybody actually ever collected them. It's just like a a giveaway um, uh, something you want a drawing I don't know maybe you could get the card uh, pic pictured on the front did you know that the card on the other side is a replica of the 1951 Bowman baseball card featuring Mickey Mantle and that an original is worth approximately four thousand dollars would you like to own it just enter the baseball court sweepstakes. You may win it or you may win our grand prize a complete set of 1953 Bowman color Baseball cards worth approximately ten thousand dollars. So we missed the boat on that one, guys. And then uh, let's just see if best way to do this. Glenn Braggs, Mike Sharperson, Walt Weiss, Rookie of the Year, not that year, but Randy Bush. Ed Sprague, I think this is a rookie card, was a uh, notable name there when he came out. Wally Joyner, Terry Pendleton, Brian Smith, Dennis R Rasmussen, Robbie Thompson, and 29 year old Gum. Lloyd McClendon, gum card. And wax card is a Dave Henderson. <laughs> You'll like that. We were talking about Dave Henderson today. Zombie collector and I. All right. Uh, Julio Franco, still playing baseball at 51 years old or however old he is. He's in his 50s. Cameron Drew. Ooh, nice. Nolan Ryan. Very nicely centered. Set that one aside, even though I don't have a uh, penny sleeve that it'll actually fit into. That always annoyed me. I think that's uh, a sentiment shared by a lot of people. I don't know why, but um, <laughs> I just bugged me that they were bigger for some reason. Look at that. Tony Gwynn, Nolan Ryan. Same pack. What he's looking at, and why isn't he wearing a baseball hat? Frank White is really happy about that. Dick Schofield, Mike McFarlane, Mike Flanagan, Mike Maldonado, I mean, Candy Maldonado. All right, two packs in my. 
My uh, fake card was Gil Hodges. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. Okay, so gum card. Who's that? Stan Jefferson. Yeah, that was another thing I didn't like about these. I never could read their you know, their name wasn't on the front except for the signature, so I had to look on the back for uh, who it was. And my wax card, Bo Jackson. Looking intense. Still put that to the side. And all right. Chris Bosio. Rick Leach. Tim Tufel. Al Pedric. Pedric. Ped. <laughs> I don't know. Doesn't matter. John Shelby. Willie McGee. Steve Bedrosian. Bedrosian. Oswald Peraza. Jose Lean, my buckos. PC card. Jeff Montgomery. And who's my fake guy? Jackie Robinson. Nice. Alright, last pack. Trying to speed it up a little bit. Gum card. Don Henkel. Nobody cares. Wax card. Ruben Sierra. Sierra. <clears throat> Got a Hugh Walker. I don't know about them glasses, Hugh. But I guess it was 1989. Juan Bell. Chuck Finley. Up close and personal with Chuck Finley. Ron Kittle. Man, there are guys that look like baseball players and some that don't. Monty Ferris. There we go. There's a name. Ozzie Smith. A nice card. Jeff Robinson. Jack Howe. Otis Nixon. Lastly, Scott Bradley. All right, guys, that was my. Uh, oh, that was those were my '89 Donors packs. So, so Gwen, Ryan, Bo Jackson, Wax Card, Ozzy Smith, and a uh, Jose Lean for the uh, Pirate PC. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll uh, be going back to my hotel in a little bit, take a shower and stuff, and then uh, maybe shoot another video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. Bye.